Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about uh, a book that used to be the most popular thing going in the comic book world, right? And it even uh, spawned and relaunched this whole era of superhero movies. But lately it's fallen from its glory. You don't have to be a psychic to know that I'm thinking about uh, the X-Men. So today, let's take a look at Jonathan Hickman's uh, Powers of X, the second companion series in a whole new relaunch of the X-Men. Will it bring the X-Men back to their former glory? Let's find out. Hey, welcome back to Comic Book News. I've been on the road and now I'm uh, in scenic, sunny Krakoa, island nation of the mutants. That's right. Last time we talked about um, House of X number one and how the mutants seem to have taken over this island and are um, trying to get uh, political legitimacy in the world by offering wonder drugs. Today, we're going to talk about Powers of X, the companion series to House of X. This book talks about the past, uh, the present, and the future of the X-Men. So um, let's take a look at it. Without further ado, let's take a look at the, the Million Dollar Comics Cam. That's right. So uh, last time, we took a look at House of X number one and today we're gonna to look at powers of x i enjoyed house of x i gave it a solid review uh today we're gonna to look at powers of x um house of x talks about the current political situation of the mutants um powers of x kind of talks more about how we got there and maybe where it's going so um we mentioned last time that in house of x we learned that uh, the mutant population is set to become the dominant species on Earth in 40 years. Well, um, the, the Powers of X is sort of uh, sets us up and tells us how we got there and, and, and where that extrapolates to in the future. So the sort of conceit here is that Powers of X is really like Powers of 10. So um, we start off with, uh, at, w w with X0, right? This is the first year of the X-Men. This is uh, Charles Xavier as the X-Men are founded. And as we go through, we go to uh, uh, X to the power of, of one, right? Uh, 10 to the power of one, year 10 of the X-Men. And that's sort of where we're supposed to be in current day. So the idea is that current day has been about 10 years since the founding of the X-Men. Then we go to X2, which is uh, 10 to the second power, uh, or 100 years in the future, and then we go to X3, 1,000 years in the future. I'm not going to spoil it and tell you everything that's go going on, but I'm going to give you like sort of a, 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 a little glimpse here. We're, we're in the present era. Professor X has got a weird look. Is it just me, or is it kind of a sinister look? Like It seems like not everything is as it seems. Um, he really looks a little like the uh, ultimate version of uh, Reed Richards, who's sort of a villain in the Marvel Universe, but I don't think there's a connection necessarily. Um, so uh, as we go into the future, we look at X-Men in the year 100, 100 years since the X-Men, closer to like the days of future past. And the idea here is that the humans and the mutants, uh, the, rather the humans and the robots, the machines, the artificial intelligence of the future have sort of joined forces to um, fight the mutants. And they created their own sort of uh, mutant hunters called the Hounds. And the, 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 the next extrapolation of this program in, was creating what's called chimeric mutants, right? So they took multiple mutants and combined their power sets. First started with two and ultimately worked their way up to five um, power sets combined in one, you know, radically powerful mutant. Of course, they were more unstable and not able to... Um, uh, make sure that they survived as much, but uh, they were very powerful and were turning the, the war in favor of the mutants. And we'll see here what we'll see in a lot of the both of these books. A lot of these sort of large text pages that offer a lot of detail on what's happening uh, in the past, present, and future. Gives you a lot of info here on the chimeric mutants. We see the character called Rasputin and how it's a combination of multiple power sets. And, you, you know, if you're an X-Men fan, you can dig into all the little details and you see Quentin Quire's telepathy and Peter Rasputin's metamorphosis and uh, et cetera, et cetera, combine into these mutants. Now, these text pages, I counted them. There's like 10 of them. 
in this book. But then there's also a good, I believe, like 30 pages of story. So this is an oversized book, but it is $5.99. Um, and, and really, you got to buy both books. So by the end, you're going to drop a fair amount of coin to get what is really just sort of a preview into the new realm of the X-Men. But... Um, you know, Hickman is known for sort of sprawling stories with crazy amounts of detail and lots of little things like that. I, I'll be honest. Sometimes it was a little too much for me. His run on the Avengers got a little bit out there with bringing in different cosmic characters and societies and, and their interactions with each other. And it, it stretched on for a really long time. I feel like what we have here is a giant setup uh, for something like that. But you know what? It's been so long since we've read any good X-Men that I I'm definitely willing to give it a shot. I'm not as thrilled about this issue as I was about House of X. Um, for the simple reason that I've never been a big fan of uh, sort of time travel books. That's where I feel uh, X-Men went off the rails. And when they start going into this far future... Um, alternate reality sort of continuity sometimes it gets a little more confusing than i want it to be i mean i'm a simple person i like my x-men books fairly simple or i like my comics fairly simple rather but you know x-men has enough of a history uh for, for so long and has undergone so many different changes and transformations and expansions that okay there's room to take it and play with it as a universe as opposed to just like um a standard superhero group and um, Hickman has had enough uh, practice doing this kind of stuff that I, 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 I'm i interested in where it's going. But it's not, I, I, I'm already starting to like get a little bit nervous. Now, what I see here is the reading order, right? I mean, things like this, you take an entire page for the to show us the reading order for these two series. There's a lot of uh, kind of wasted space, stuff like this where... It, Hickman invented a whole code language for mutants that we can't, we don't necessarily have a key to and can't necessarily read. So it's a little hard to justify, you know, two whole pages of what could have been story or, or useful information for what is a couple of words in code. It's kind of fun, kind of fun to have code uh, stuff in a book and, um, I know that there's people out there who have probably translated this already, so I'm going to have to do a little looking into that. Maybe we'll do an episode about uh, about Code Breaking and the X-Men. But anyway, what, what excites me is some of these highlighted issues. So House of X number two is highlighted. It's coming out next week. It's highlighted um, as like an important issue. Something big is going to happen in this one. At least that's what I take this red line to mean. It's a little hard to read on the Million Dollar Comics cam. If I bring it up a little closer here, you can see uh, the order. But um, so I'm going to reserve my full recommendation until next week when House of uh, X number two comes out. But for now, I'm going to give this one, a, a, I'm going to give it a solid uh, 7.4 out of 10. A little lower than, than I gave the House of X, which I, I think was a 7.9. Um, I'm going to call this one 7.4 because um, it's already gotten me a little bit confused and convoluted and, and sort of I thought what we were trying to get away from on the X-Men was uh, confusion and, and convolution, right? But what the heck? What are you going to do? Uh, I'm still on board. I'm going to read the next issue of House of X. I'm going to continue Powers of X, and I'm excited for the new X-Men number one, the regular creative team that was just announced. We'll talk more about that soon. Um, so until next time, hey, thank you for watching this channel. We've picked up a bunch of new subscribers recently, some um, folks that I, I've known for years who I haven't talked to for a long time who I've seen subscribe to this channel and uh, have, have reached out to me or I've reached out to them or it's just great. This is just a great way um, to talk to the people I love about comics which is like the thing that i love so again thank you for watching please don't forget to like comment on this video and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you next time